plaintiff, Labiba Oglesby, met the defendant in high school. And 20 years later, they reconnected on Facebook. Labiba says the defendant expressed an interest in dating her. And then four days later, he started asking for money. Labiba insists she never dated the defendant, but she's suing him today for unpaid loans. Defendant Roger Howell says he and Labiba first dated in high school, and when they reconnected, they started a sexual relationship. Roger insists all of the money Labiba is suing for was a gift, and she only started asking him to repay her after he stopped seeing her. He's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. Your Honor, I met Roger in high school. We were friends in high school. We were on the same track team together. He was a player back then. He had a girlfriend and every year of high school. Fast forward 20 he ain't years. player. That's a man can't keep a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. They say. Oh, wow. Fast forward 20 years later, he played me. Um, he reached out to me through Facebook. May of 2016, I remember it very vividly because it was the same week of my birthday. He told me that he wanted to take me out to dinner. I agreed, we went out on my birthday. While we were out and reconnecting, he told me that he works in the same city as I do. He has two jobs. He works right around the corner from me. I'm like, this is great, this is perfect. So, um, you know, from that point, from May 28th, we started meeting up for lunches every day for the next week. We even went to the movies together. Um, basically, from that point, um, a few days later, rather, he had asked for a loan of $300 to pay his rent. How long after dating him did he ask you for money? Well, technically, we were not dating. We were just reconnecting. He did express an interest in dating me, um, but I told him that How long after of... expressing an interest in dating you, did he ask you for money? About four days later. What'd you tell him? I, lo I loaned him the money. All right. Sir, you want to give me some background? Uh, Labiba and I did meet in high school. We ran track together. Um, we were dating at, in high school, messing around, dating. Um, she knew I had a girlfriend. I knew she had a boyfriend back then. We continued to date each other regardless. Uh, she, at that point, we lost contact for a while. I hadn't seen her um, for over 20 years. So we talked, we reconnected on Facebook. I did see her. She looked like she was real conservative into her religious religion, practicing her religion. So I said, you know, I just got out of a bad relationship. I wonder how Labi was doing, see if I could have a friend I could talk to. So I reached out to her. Um, we ended up making plans to go out and eat. Um, so we did, we hooked up, we made the set date to go out and eat. She came, whole another person walked into the bar. What do you mean by that? Uh, what I mean by that is she didn't have on her Islamic garments. Mm -hmm. She came in with her hair out. Uh, singing, dancing, having drinks, mm -hmm. ended up twerking at the end of the night. Okay. Just I mean, because you know, you thought she was different because she had her. Well, uh... I mean, I knew, always knew she was in the Muslim faith because mm -hmm. of her name and me going to school with her. But she hadn't been practicing at certain times. All right, Christians do the same thing. Yeah, you're absolutely right. But Walk I mean, like I said, it. when I reconnected with her on Facebook, not to interrupt you, Yana, okay. but when I reconnected with her on Facebook, the first image that you get when you look at the Facebook picture, it's like, yeah, oh, you got Christians who have the cross on the neck. You have the rappers who wear the Jesus piece. Mm -hmm. And they get out there and don't do anything but cuss and do everything other than uh, practice Christianity. So they, she's no different than any other religion. Let their hair down from time to time. So try to pass judgment on the woman. And tell me about this money. Did you ask her for money four days after seeing her? That's absolutely ludicrous. Um, what happened was after the night... Might be ludicrous. Is it true? Uh, it's definitely not the truth. Uh, All right, because was, I agree. If you did, that's ludicrous. Well, what she forgot to mention was that within that time of us going out to mm -hmm. eat, which was maybe two or three weeks, we had already had sex there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was before she gave me money. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because it was a question of what's not wrong. really. I don't. I apologize. Well, I don't it was understand a question what you're of, saying were at you all. Okay? Were you okay? Are you okay? She saw a look in my face. I was worried about something. Are you okay? What were you worried oh, about? I need this. I was worried about. It. I had a few things going on at the time. I you told broke? her about. No, no, not that, not that Ooh. issue. But oh, well, didn't have anything to regard, do with money. In some regard, no. Part of it did, but part of it had to you do with. You were part my broke. Uh, partly, partially, yeah, at okay. the time. 
So she asked me what was going on. I told her I was having trouble paying a few things. And she said, well, this is what I do for the people that I care about. So don't worry about it. So I felt like all those were gifts. Uh, she just handed you the money at that time? Or she, how did you, well, how did she Well, she asked convey me what was going on, and I told her. Right, how did shorter. she convey the money to you? She had it on her? Well, she went and, I guess she went to the ATM or whatever she did to get the money. Okay, the same day, the next day? Same day, right there. All right, when same she day. She said, hold on. One second. <laughs> Come back 10 minutes. All your problems are gone. Pretty much. All right, that's all I want to know. Pretty all right, much. there you go. I like that type of testimony. You Pretty much. just lay it out and you say, just that's exactly how it went. Ma'am? You say you laid it on him. <laughs> the money. The money. After he expressed his uh, financial challenges. Your Honor, Roger never mentioned he to me He said it was that. a gift. He never mentioned to me that he had any financial challenges. I was trying to help him out. You know, I cared about him. We went to school together. He asked me for a loan that he promised to pay the same week, which was... Oh. Um, June 10th, so I let him, I loaned him the money on June 6th, um, 2016 of $300. Um, I've loaned him money six times, totaling $501, and I actually have... Give me some, yeah, you have some dates indicating yes. the days of the loans. Did you yes. receive loans over, or yes, monies from her? Absolutely. Six different times? Absolutely. As gifts? As gifts. Oh, we were wow. either going out, eating, whether it had Absolutely. going downtown, going shopping. But she had to pay? So had to I pay. paid for her to eat, too. But I mean... How many times? Three. I mean, I, that's why I'm trying to say here is like, I don't understand it at all now because we are broken up now. Everything that she did was You said you never alone. went together. Never together. Well, dating, whatever you we were messing were around. You said you weren't dating. Messing around. Okay. Ever since we stopped messing around, now everything is alone. That doesn't make any sense. Makes a lot of sense. No, it doesn't make sense. Uh, it makes sense to you. What she forgot to mention was that within that time of us going out mm -hmm. eating, which was maybe two or three weeks, we had already had sex there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was before she gave me money. Plaintiff Labiba Oglesby says she and the defendant were nothing more than friends. But the defendant insists they were in an intimate relationship. And she's only suing him because he stopped having sex with her. No, it doesn't make sense that a woman would have to give you money six times. You don't work? Over yes, the course of seven days. I just feel like, you know, she's probably making that up because like I said she's making come, what up making those loans up because she's come to my house you say she's saying, giving I mean, she's, them to you said they were gifts stuff she wanted to pay for I mean if she's sitting up there saying that there was a loan or something like All that right, for she, dinner you say something. they were gifts so my, let's go with the gifts okay. let's go with your story right why if you're working do you have to get five hundred dollars worth of items from a woman within seven day period and you're a grown man is working like I said, Yana, we were, she says we weren't dating. That's fine. We were messing you around. You said you weren't dating. I said that too. We were messing around, okay? And I, as soon as that messing around ended up, all those things became I understand wrong. that. I just want to know why you had to do it in the first place. The average man who can provide for himself, which is the definition of manhood, being able to provide for yourself. <laughs> can't take care of yourself, then you kind of, you're less mature than a man because you are relying on someone else. And that's what children do. Um, they rely on their parents or someone to take care of them. Adults rely on themselves. So that's why I'm asking. It's unusual for an adult to have to obtain or receive even $500. And you admit to one of the reasons is because you were broke. I'm sorry, partially broke. <laughs> and then the others were meals. So that's my point. Uh, any reason? I, I, like I said, those, those were gifts. Those okay. are stuff What's she your counterclaim? Like I was just wondering why. I got you. My counterclaim is for harassment and a do? threat from a cousin or whoever this guy was. Mm -hmm. uh, what did she do, though? Well, what happened was I was walking from my job to my other job. And it's a uh, guy. We have two jobs. Me. Right. 
And you got to swindle a woman out of 500 or you receive gifts. I'm Absolutely. Sorry. Go ahead. All right. So I'm walking from one job to another job, and some gentleman taps me on my shoulder. And I went to look around. He's kind of smaller than me, a little shorter than me. And he said, uh, hey, you owe oh, us some money. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was. So he was shorter than me. <laughs> so he I'm you, not even told. You failed to tap. Yeah. And when you looked around, you didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> because he's no. shorter than you. So he said, uh, <laughs> no. he said, you owe my cousin some money. I said, well, who's your cousin? Because I've never seen this guy before. And I thought he said short, but he said, well, my name is Sport. And he said, I don't want to have to show you why they call me Sport. I don't want to have to put the Sport on you. So I'm like, OK, um, why are you here? What, what did she tell you I owed her some money or something? Yeah, she said that y'all was going through something. I don't care about what y'all going on. But got, what you got going on, just give me the money, the money that she says I owe her. Just give him the money. He going to tell her not to, uh, <laughs> you know, to, to let it go. And I said to him, well, why would I, in God's great earth, give you the money that I'm supposed to give to her, and you gonna tell her, oh, I got the money that he's supposed to give you, just leave That's it alone. That's what you told him? Yeah. You said, the money I'm supposed to give her. What I'm saying to him is, what I said to him was, does it make any sense for me to give you coming to yeah, me and saying, no, all your cousin money? I'm supposed to give her. No, what he's saying is just give what I'm saying. I apologize. I, yeah, what happened? I guess I did, did say it that way. But did he swing he's... at you and he missed because he was too <laughs> short? Because he was too, no. his arms are too short no, in the box? I just, I just told him, have a nice day, and I kept him moving down the street and went to work. So what did she do? I didn't hear what you said she did. He said she expressed her concern that she had not received her money from you. Well, he told me You know, me she that learned she that from that you. You just expressed that you were partially broke. She long put some money in your hand. She expressed to him that she hadn't been repaid by you. She didn't say go get him. You haven't proven that. But she just said, ah, this guy Roger owes me 500 and one. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Ain't no thing, no, ain't no thing. It's all right. No, no, I go get him, no. You don't have to do nothing. Could have went like that. You can't say that she sent him. You said that she didn't know anything about it beforehand, before. Why, I just doing. gave you the scenario. <laughs> just like your scenario of dry begging for the money. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Got a problem. <laughs> partially broke. So, oh, I get the money, make you whole again. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read. I work two jobs. <laughs> Don't need it. Oh, I just need to gift it to you. Really? <laughs> All right. You answer that one. Pretty much. <laughs> you said pretty much. Said, all right, there you go. I don't understand it at all now because we are broken up now. Everything that she did was alone. You said you never alone. were together. Never together. Well, dating, whatever you were messing you were around. You said you weren't dating. Messing around. Okay. Ever since we stopped messing around, now everything is alone. Plaintiff Labiba Oglesby says she and the defendant were nothing more than friends but the defendant insists they were in an intimate relationship. And she's only suing him because he stopped having sex with her. Do you have any evidence, anyone? Uh -huh. Yes. Your counterclaim, I'm not going to hold her accountable for this guy who, the, the short guy, <laughs> who came and tapped you on the shoulder and when you turned around, you didn't see anything at first. Okay, well, all I needed to read is the first page. I didn't get my check yet. I'm going to pay. Chill. Don't tell me to chill, because if, if I owed you $500 and you didn't pay in a month, you would be asking, too. I didn't say anything until the third week. I can't with you no more. I'm tired of people screwing over me. My cousin is on his way right now, and he's going <laughs> to bust you upside his head. <laughs> it, says, <laughs> it doesn't say that last part. 
It doesn't say that last part, but it does say you didn't get your check and you're going to pay. And then later it says, I don't have my check yet. Okay, as soon as I do, I will pay you. Judgment for the plaintiff, $501. Your claim is dismissed. Have a good day. I just want to let him know that I still care about you. You know, we were friends. And I just feel like you took advantage of me and used me for whatever your own purpose was. But at the end of the day, like, I don't have any grudges against you. I just think that it was all, all out of play. Everything was out of play. I think it was just timing, you know? You said that <laughs> you didn't want to see me anymore, and then things became crazy after that, so.